Uh, patient's still unconscious. You can go outside. We'll take care of it from here. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Do you want to take your break right now? I, I think he's going to be out for a while. Great. I think it's about time for Good. it anyway. All right. Thanks. <clears throat> Nurse, can I get your help over here? Sure. Looks like he's holding steady, but not much change. I'm going to go down to the lab and see if the test results are in yet. All right? Say you forgive me, please. Oh, Julia. Huh? <laughs> You're talking. That means you better. That's so wonderful. Uh, yeah. Where's the, where's the tree? What tree? Christmas. The Christmas and the mistletoe. Oh. <coughs> My poor delirious Ryan, you've skipped back. I had to leave the Christmas tree at home, along with all the decorations. At home? Where, where are we? We're in the hospital. I don't feel, I don't feel so good. <laughs> yes, I know, baby. It's, um, it's just a flu, but you'll get over it. You'll get better. I feel hot. Yeah, it's because you have a fever. Mm. But you're gonna get better because I love you, and, and love is the most powerful medicine in the world. Uh, yes, the doctor said that one, one dose of true love is more powerful than all these antibiotics that they're pumping into your body. Mm. And, and, and it takes you out of danger. Yeah, well then I guess, I guess I'm in zero danger because I love you. And I love you. What are you doing with the prisoner? Did you hear me? I asked what you're doing. Um, this patient needs intense inhalation therapy. Unless you want to be contaminated with his deadly bacterials, I suggest you leave this room now. can give you the therapy that can save your life. The kiss of life. Oh, well, I'm saved. Huh? Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas. <laughs> May this be the first of many, many wonderful Christmases together. Mm. You're gonna be fine. I just know it. You're gonna get better. You just have to. Dear God, I wouldn't ask you to listen to me, but this is for Ryan. I love him so much, God. If you, if you can save him, I promise I will never let him down again or, or hurt him. So if you can spare a miracle, even just a small one, please, please could you send it to him? I don't want him to die. Please save my darling Ryan.
Here you go. Excuse me, sir, but this patient is very sick. Only authorized hospital personnel allowed. If you could please go. You know, your accent gives you away. Wait, you're the man I met at the Valley Inn. Yeah, got a good memory for faces. Didn't know you were a nurse. Oh, no, I'm not really. Please don't tell anybody. I just, I want to be near Ryan. Ryan. Well, this is the husband you told me about, right? Yes. He's the most precious man in the world. Yeah. Well, what did the doctors say? Do they know what happened? Yeah, he has pneumonia. And I'm, I'm so scared for him. I keep praying. Do you maybe know of any prayers that might work, might cure him? <coughs> Where is it? Uh... Ryan, you're waking up, baby. It's me, Julian. Look at me. Are you okay? I'm Ryan. Ryan, you're awake. I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you. God answered my prayers, baby. Yes. Ryan? No. No. Wake up. Come on. Stay with me, Ryan. Hey. Baby, wake up. Hey, try not to worry. The doctors here are very good. Your husband's getting excellent care. You've got to trust that. Why are you being so nice? You don't even know us. Well, I, I read about your husband in the papers. He's having some trouble with the law. How's that going? He's innocent. I'm sure he'll get off it. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Good luck. Everything we've been through, all the fighting and hurting each other. I still love you so much. And we can make everything up, Ryan. If you'll only come back to me and stay. Please stay with me. You're so beautiful. Don't laugh now, but when I look at you, I can't help but think of the story my mother used to tell me when I was a little girl. Once upon a time, there was a Hungarian princess, and she had everything her heart desired. She had a castle in the hills, more servants than she could count, boxes of gold and silver and jewelry. But she didn't have the one thing that truly mattered. Someone to love and to totally give her heart to and that would love her back in spite of all her imperfections, which were many. And she looked and she looked. But she couldn't find such a man and people started laughing behind her back and talking behind her back. And she waited and she waited. And summer came, and then winter, and the snow began to fall right up to her knees. And then she decided to build a snowman. She built a beautiful snowman with deep blue eyes and, and light brown hair. She made him really tall. And then, the snowman started to smile and he opened his big blue eyes and then she realized that she had found her prince in, in the place she least expected. Baby. I thought I, uh, 
I thought I saw. So what? What? Uh, nothing. I'm very tired. Yes. Rest. Save your breath. Just rest. I'm gonna be right here by your side. Right here when you wake up, I'll be right here. A bed opened up on three. We're moving Mr. Lavery to a room. Is that good? Do I know you? Um, I'm, I'm Nurse Vatzel. Um, I'm a nurse and, uh, and a policewoman. Um, I have to guard this man because he's under arrest. And, um, you know, because you never know what kind of hooligans come and go from this joint. You help us. You get his IVs. Just, just be careful. He's a very important patient. Just be careful. I need to give the patient his nightly medication. I also need to run some complicated tests, which would require some privacy. Dress like a nurse? Isn't water just a perfect thing when you're thirsty? Well, am I in a hospital? Don't strain yourself with all these questions, darling. You need to rest. Well, well, well how come I can't remember anything? I, uh, I get these flashes, but I can't... I can't piece them together. Help me, baby. That's what I'm doing. See, I'm helping you. Jillian, what happened to me? You. I know you need to rest. No. I bought you your Christmas present. Well, a picture of it. A train. <laughs> <laughs> Once we get to Europe, I'm gonna buy us your rail passes and we're gonna travel the entire continent by train. Wouldn't that be just so romantic? And just wait till I show you the chalet we once owned. It was sold on auction. It was bought by the Getchies. So they get cheese and I were deadly rivals at boarding school. I never knew why. I mean, I was uh, a little attractive, and she had these very ugly bug's teeth. Teeth like a bug? Yeah, like bug's bunny luck. Oh, oh, oh. Buck teeth. Buck, baby. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> See, I think she got her father to buy the chalet just to uh -huh. torment me. But you know what? She's going to turn seven shades of green when I show her my beautiful husband. Uh. Oh, Ryan, it's okay being penniless as long as you have a husband who loves you and, and you love him. Hmm. Excuse me. How long are you going to be in here? This patient is very sick and I'm still busy. Jillian, why is there a cop at the door? Why is a cop at the door? Oh, don't worry about the policeman. You know, I think I saw on television about babies being snatched from the hospital. That's probably why. What do you want to do now? I know, we can sing Christmas carols. No, I'm, I'm a little tired, but... What's wrong? Oh, I... Cold. I just had this flash of being very... cold. I'm freezing. No, don't be cold. I'll, I'll keep you warm. Oh. I'll keep you warm forever and always. Uh. Always. Wait, I... I couldn't breathe. I, I was under... I was under water and the ice. I don't... Wait, what, what, what happened don't. to me? This, 
It's not, it's not Christmas. We had that already. Jillian, just tell me what happened. Okay. You're gonna find out anyway, sometime. But before I tell you, I just want you to know that I love you very much, and I always will, no matter what. Well, I, I don't understand. You're scaring me. We were hiding in the ice shack, getting ready to leave the country, and then you jumped in the, in the ice hole to hide from the police, and then you caught pneumonia, remember? Yeah. Yeah, I was so cold, and I, I heard the cops coming, and the dogs. And there was nowhere else for me to go. And, and you weren't there. You had gone to get the money. And you said you were going to Wildwood. That Edmund had the money in a safe. But really, you went to see your lover, David Hayward. That's what I couldn't remember. You slept with David Hayward to get my bail money after you told me you broke it off with him and then you offered to sleep with him again to get our money for the escape. Ryan, please don't. I did it for us so that we could get away. Just get out of here and just leave me alone. No, I'll never do that. You know I'll always listen to you and do what you tell me to do, but I'm not gonna do this. I'm not leaving you. I'm staying here with you. I want you out now. Don't make me say it again. Ryan, I, I had to disguise myself to get past the guard at the door. If I go out now, I'm not going to be able to come back in. Fine. Ryan, please. How many times do I have to tell you what I did? I did because I love you. Now, don't be angry at me. I'm not angry with you anymore, Jillian. I don't know what I am. All I know is I want you out now because it hurts to look at you. Ryan, you're breaking my heart. It's good that I'm here. You're very weak and I need to take care of you. You're stuck with me. You can be angry at me, you can be mad at me, you can be anything, I don't care. But you can't be out of love with me. That you cannot do. It's too late for that. You have to love me just as much as I love you. And I'm going to earn back your trust, no matter what it takes. You know, I even went to, to kill David. I tried to shoot him. You tried to shoot him? Like with a gun? With a pistol. But then Jake Martin came in and he took the bullets. You really tried to shoot David Hayward? Yeah, if it wasn't for Jake Martin, he'd be pushing up dizzies now. Daisies. Just wait till you see what I'm capable of. We're a team, and there's nothing you can do about it. See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of you, and I'm going to make you better. And then I'm going to get you off those rape charges. See, what you don't realize is I'm a descendant of Attila the Hun. And if he could defeat the Roman Empire, I can certainly defeat Jackson Montgomery. I told you to go, and I meant it. You're not making me get better. You're just upsetting me a few hours ago you were slipping in and out of unconscious now you're telling me to get out proof that i'm making you better i'm getting better because of antibiotics not because of you you can you can say whatever you want to me i don't care every word you speak tells me that you're getting better <sighs> Shh, darling just lie down and rest i'm not going anywhere i'm staying right here with you Nurse, how's the patient doing? Nurse. He's better. Yes, indeed. His temperature has dropped. Must be from all the excellent nursing care at the hospital. Who the hell let you in here? I was asked to take a look at you, and that's exactly what I'm doing. It seems that you have a minor heart arrhythmia from the infection. But I can fix that. Well, I would rather die than have you treat me. I won't take that personally. You're my patient now, and your health is of the utmost importance to me. 
Nurse, would you prepare the patient for an injection, please? No, you get away from him! You get away from him, you evil man! Get away from him! You don't touch him! No, leave me alone! Hey, Jillian, under different circumstances, I might find this violent streak very attractive. Just shut up! Just shut Take up! Take your hands I'm off here her! to help your husband get well so that he can stand trial for rape and go to prison for 20 years. No, you so leave I... us alone! No, I belong here. You're the one that's here under false pretenses, which is why I should report you to the guard outside. No, I'm staying here with Ryan! You know, I should have shot you when I had the chance. Oh, Jillian, please. This is neither the time nor the place, you sweet talk. Take your hands off of her. I know. You, you lie down. You lie back. You stay whoa, whoa, out of whoa, this. Whoa, what the hell's going My, my. Look who's working the late shift. Listen, this is all my fault, OK? I, I made her do Shut this. Shut up, Lavery. You couldn't have done that, now, could you? You were unconscious. Oh, I have a good idea whose fault this was. Impersonating a nurse is a crime. I didn't practice medicine without a permit. I was simply standing by my poor, despised husband. And I'm glad, because this man tried to kill him. I saw his syringe. The syringe? You got the syringe thing, don't you? you? You should see somebody about that. What do you have to say about all this? What can I possibly say? I was asked to come in and treat the prisoner. I was about to administer his medication when I was attacked again by this lunatic. I don't believe him. He hates us. Mrs. Lavery, I was only doing my duty as a citizen when I alerted the police to your whereabouts. I don't hate you. In fact, you and your husband mean nothing to me at all. But I do think that you should be aware of this woman's violent and unstable nature. Next thing I know, she's going to be coming after me with a gun. Don't worry, Doc. I'm very aware of that, and she won't be coming after you with anything. I'll make sure of that. I assume I can be leaving now. I do have other patients. Absolutely. Thank you. Mr. Lavery, I'll have a resident come in and administer your medication. Arrest me. I know you're going to do it anyway. I'm not leaving Ryan, so just get it over with. <laughs> you really believe that you can just be in an adjacent cell with this guy for the next 20 or 30 years? I don't care. I just want to be near him. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to double the guard on this door. And if I so much as catch a whiff of your perfume in this room, or if you impede this investigation in any other way, you are going to find yourself on the way to the women's house of detention, and you are not going to see your husband for a very long time. You follow me? No, you can't do that. I have to be near Ryan. Make her go away. Ryan, remember what I said. I love you. 